This is going to be a haul. I know some people like them, some people don't. So, right into this. Oh, and also, so contradictory. I am going to start trying to do try on hauls. Just, I feel like shit today, to be honest. And hashtag not body pause. I will, I promise, 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 I will start trying them on because my Fashion Nova lookbook, everyone was like, fucking screaming just kidding like one person and that was me i was really nervous to do that video but a lot of people seem to like it so promise to get back to doing those because they just are more entertaining and whatever the first place i got clothes from is shein and yeah you guys know i get clothes from them every month and i thought i would just show them off the first thing is actually so I'm gonna wear this out tonight so I'm really excited it is this like tunic I guess that's the official name for it it's this really like feathery tunic really really soft the material feels like wet and it has like a really nice zipper down the front this is excellent quality or I guess whatever you could say um oh I gotta stop saying it looks like this because Someone pointed it out, and now I cannot stop seeing it when I'm editing. But this has to be, like, my favorite piece from the online stores that I got. Alright, and then this piece is, you guys, Burberry, though. Like, hi, I just spent $5 million at Burberry. No, this is just, like, a cover-up. I don't know if you can tell, but, like, it's see-through. Um, but it, this is huge, you guys, and it's super stretchy. I will say the material is a tiny bit scratchy. It's not unbearable or anything. Just as a warning, I guess it's because it's see-through. So, but it's worth it because it's Burberry. Like, imagine this with shorts, like white shorts and, like, shoes. <laughs> I don't know. Sandals. I don't know. Tell me what I should pair that with because... I have no idea, but those were from Shein. Links below as always. Ooh, I just tongue popped. Then the next, then these are from Romwe. The links will also be down below. This is, what? Does this remind you guys of like Indian or something? Like an Indian vibe? Because that's what I'm picking up from this. I don't know. It's again, like a tunic. It's really long, goes down to like above my knees. Did I just say it looks like this? No. And the back has that pattern on it. It has kind of like a v-neck and it's really cute. The, the material, material on this is like right in between heavy and light. I don't know how to explain it. You could pair this, like you could wear it in the summer and winter if you like paired it right. I really like this one too, but out of both of them, I like the first one better just because of the material. It's a little bit better quality but I really like no I'm not gonna say that this one is just as amazing in my heart wow I sound fucking gay um just oh and that also comes with a belt I'm not trying to be homophobic by saying fucking gay because bitch no, enough with that shit if you know me you know I'm not trying to be offensive it's sad that I even have to say that okay and then I got a bathing suit girl a bathing suit because my ass is gonna be in florida in december bitch you better believe i'm fucking ready for that i'm ready to get smashed on the beach i'm ready to get so fucking drunk i don't even know who i am or where i am and i'm ready to fuck shit up and do illegal shit are you kidding me but Girl, you gotta have, like, a cute bathing suit. As you guys know, I'm very body conscious. Like, I'm very self-conscious. My hair is, like, doing the most. The bottom... It's a two-piece, by the way, obviously. The bottoms are this tropical-themed, high-waisted... It reminds me of acid, to be honest. Like, this is very, like, I just took acid and I'm looking at my bathing suit. That's what this is. This is a little bit big for me, surprisingly. Um, cause my ass, my fucking stomach, we all know I'm, ha I'm six months pregnant with triplets and this is actually kind of big. And then the top is really cute. 
as well. It's just, yeah, this is a little big to be honest, but I'll make it work, bitch. You best believe. Top matches perfectly. I wanted to mention two PR samples that were sent to me because I didn't really know where else to put them. So the first thing is the Luster Lust Lacquer Waterproof Tint by Touch and Soul. And the packaging looks like this. This is in the shade Medusa number six, and this is sold at Sephora for $22 and they are in Sephora as of April. Packaging looks like this. I actually did wear this. Um, it's so funny. My boyfriend, I put it on my lips and I kissed him when I first got it and he, he like Instagrammed it and then tagged the company. The company probably saw it and was like, girl, what the heck? Avocado oil, apricot, kernel oil, and macadamia, turn, turn of foil, seed oil. I said that wrong. Color is really, really nice. I'll actually swatch it. Um, I wore it and it's pretty comfortable on the lips. Here. So it looks like this. It's very bold statement. It's kind of like blood color, which I am into because I don't really have that many shades this color or whatever. I get these at Sephora and yeah, if you are an avid Sephora shopper, and then the next thing I got is this Deep Sea Mud Mask. This is from Pure Body Naturals. You guys know I rep for Pure Body Naturals so hard. I have their Blueberry Facial Scrub and their Coconut Hair Mask. Their Coconut Hair Mask is my ride or die. I use that every single time I am in the shower and I'm washing my hair. This is just like, I haven't used this yet, so I can't say too much because I got it literally the other day. But I will say that it comes with, it looks like this. No, I'm not saying that anymore. It has a really interesting color and it smells really good. It almost smells like an Abercrombie and Fitch cologne. It's really cool. Um, but I will get back to you on that. Pure Body Naturals stuff is really cheap and you can buy them on Amazon. So, Thank you to them and thank you to Touch and Soul for sending me these. Um, and I will link those down below as well. And no, I was not sponsored to say that. Fuck. This is really embarrassing. I got bras because my boobs have been growing. I actually have like a little bit of stretch marks on them. Not cute at all, girl. But I was wearing an A cup bra. Tell me how I got measured. And they said I was a C cup like a small C. Bitch, my bra was fucking breaking my back. It hurt so bad. Like my boobs were so sore after wearing bras all day. So it was really depressing. Next thing I purchased with my own money is this Express. This is a skirt by Express. It's just like a leather tasseled doodly do. And bitch is my size show and I'm not trying to fucking but yeah, ex can you see the Express? I feel like I have so many knockoffs that people are probably like, yeah, bitch, I'm sure that's fucking Express. I know I didn't get these from Play-Dohs because I, I feel like someone's gonna be like, bitch, you got those from Play-Dohs. No, no, sh I shop at Play-Dohs sometimes, but no. It's so weird. I forget what the um, company is called. But once every month, m this company will sell like a bunch of stuff that stores it's like a cco for makeup but for clothing and this time it was victoria's secret and express there it was like a huge hobby lobby store and the entire store was just racks and racks of express and these everything was pretty much 12 dollars and under super good deal and so i had to pick up this this fits really nicely I saw this, you guys, and I'm actually heartbroken because this was sold out except for a two sizes below my size. Bitch, I'm not telling you my size. Like, I'm fat. Okay. But look at this skirt. The skirt's kind of tacky. I feel like this skirt is $200. Let me show you the price tag. $200. 
This was $12. <laughs> Watch me like resell it on like eBay for like 120 Actually, no, I'm kidding. But I mean, tempted, TBH. Um, but yeah, this doesn't fit. I'm really upset about it. I'm really like sad. It is a little bit like 90s or two, early 2000s. But for $12, bitch, I was saving $178. $188. Your girl had to. The last thing I got from Express are these high-waisted shorts. They look like this. No, I'm not saying that anymore. How pretty is this? Imagine this with a crop top or a halter top. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm pairing these with. I just know I got them on a bargain. I don't have any floral like shorts or anything. So I was like, <laughs> excuses. I then lastly got this Jennifer Lopez cardigan. It's a long sleeve cardigan with this faux fur neck thing. And I'm obsessed with this. I wore this the other day when it was raining with like a dress shirt. Yeah, a dress shirt. Thigh high boots. And I was slaying the shit out of everyone. I walked in to this salon and everyone was like, bitch, are you a movie star? Or that fucking cardigan from Jennifer Lopez. I didn't even know she made clothes. Okay, also I got one and a half hours of sleep last night and I'm running literally on Duncan's coffee so I, I might be a little bit insane today but yeah let me know what your favorite piece was I will get back to doing try on hauls check the links below as always I love you guys and I'll talk to you later bye